Hey, what up guys, Sack here. Today, I'm gonna be helping you beginners out there or just for those of you that are new to Rainbow Six Siege because I know this game is very taunting and there's a lot of things that you need to learn to be decent. So I'm just gonna be giving you guys some tips and advice on how to improve. But before we get into it, you already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button because we're almost at 3000 subscribers. And if you guys could help us hit that, we'd be so grateful. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. So starting up with the first tip I have for y'all and that is gonna have to be try to utilize your equipment more efficiently so the main thing that comes to mind when i say that is your cams because i see a lot of beginners who don't really use their cams that often and they don't really drone that well or drone at all specifically a they don't really know about it or b because they just feel it's not that important but they are greatly mistaken because this game is all about info now it may look like an fps shooter on the surface but i promise you you guys are going to want as much information as you can get possible. That's why you see all these pro teams have great drone work and great comms because without it, they want to be at the top of the line. So basically, just try to get more experience on droning, droning better, getting better at callouts and using cams and just general stuff like that a lot better. And jumping into the second tip, and that is going to have to be learn one operator at a time. So I say this because there's so many operators in the game. I think there's like over 50 at this point. And that is very taunting to hop into a game and have to learn all of those agents and just all of their abilities at once. So my personal opinion is that you should take the time and, you know, get familiar with a couple operators, say like three, four attacking, three, four defending and just try to really nail them down and get very consistent with them because playing all these different operators is really going to stunt your growth as a player and it's really going to hold you back from your greatest potential because i promise you even the pro players are still learning things that they didn't even know just by playing more with that certain character so that's why i really recommend it because there's so many things to learn now, i'm not saying you should restrict yourself at all i'm just saying try to narrow it down to the operators you want to play just try to keep it consistent now for the third most important tip is gonna have to be something that kind of relies on your gun skill and your mechanics and that is gonna have to be your crosshair placement now i already have a whole video dedicated on this subject it's actually our most viewed video so i would go check that out if you guys want a more in-depth guide to improving that one specific topic but generally you can improve this just by going in the going into the training grounds and looking where the bots heads are and just trying to get that down in your muscle memory and just line up things on the map that are closest to the head just so you'll have that in your subconscious and you know like your muscle memory will just know where the head usually is but like i said if you want a whole video dedicated on the topic i would really advise go checking out the previous one i made on it and jumping into the next advice i have for y'all is gonna have to be learn the maps learn the callouts because once you learn the maps there are quite a few maps in this game so it's going to be very, so it's going to be a similar situation to the operator, but you know, with maps, you can't really pick which one you play. So what I would do personally is going to a custom game or the training grounds and just try to go into each room, look in the bottom of your compass. That'll say where the callouts actually are. If you guys don't know that and try to memorize that. And next time you play, you will now know that call out if you remember it, of course. But if you guys don't know the maps, you guys can be the greatest FPS players in history and the history of you know fps games but if you guys don't know the maps you guys are going to be a, at a severe disadvantage and not to mention your callouts aren't going to be on point and you're going to be basically just leaving your team in the dark which is not cool but like i said just go to a custom game or training grounds and just try to nail down each and every single map that is in the ranked place you guys don't really have to worry about the casual maps that much because they're not in ranked if you guys are actually trying to get better i wouldn't recommend playing casual at all because or a quick match because that's kind of a clown fest uh but yeah just i would stick to unranked training grounds and ranked if you guys actually want to improve but moving into our actual final last tip or piece of piece of advice that i want to give you guys is just watch really good streamers and pro league because you guys are going to pick up on things that they already know and that they have already mastered and when you do that, you can actually pick up on that yourself and just learn a lot faster now. Now, there are actually a lot of studies done that looking at a certain thing for an extended period of time, like watching somebody else re repeat an action can actually help you learn it too. So I would really recommend you guys go into that. And that is one way you guys could also improve your callouts too, is by listening to streamers and pro players call out certain things. And you could also just learn cheeky spots and 
you know just things along that line but yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys i really hope you enjoyed really hope you guys uh learned a lot from this let me know in the comment section below if it actually did or if you guys have any questions feel free to ask them because i try to reply to every single comment don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys later peace